Okay, so hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Fat Sharks. I've personally got the Fat Shark Dominator Freeze, but I think it's the same setup for nearly every pair of Fat Sharks. Okay, so if you want to do wireless FPV, you're going to need to buy a receiver. The receiver talks to the camera on the front of the drone, and this receives the image and then puts it into the goggles. To put the receiver in, Looking at the uh, goggle straight on, the right panel needs to be popped out and you need to pop the rubber, the rubber cover out. Once you've done this, you can insert your receiver. I've personally got the NetWave RF 5 gigabytes, 5 gigahertz, sorry. So you can plug this in. It's quite a snug fit. I just see it won't fall out. And then you just put the door back on. Make sure you push the door back on properly because sometimes it can fall off. After you've done this, you can um, screw your antenna back on. Whenever powering up the fat sharks, make sure you have your antenna on properly and on at all times when they're powered up because if you don't have it, you can burn out the receiver and other parts inside. Okay, so once you've got your receiver installed, no think, and you want to fly FPV, you need to turn R X on Right, so after you've done this you're going to need to put the velcro plate on The velcro plate is what connects all the foam faces that help the goggles fit your face So all you have to do is re remove the st s paper at the back of the sticky tape and then just place the triangle at the top on there and then just kind of work your way down smoothing as you go once you've done this you can choose what foam fits your face the best I personally have this foam and then you can just push the foam on and the velcro should do its job and just stick okay so once you've done this you can insert the battery into the holder or to do this all you have to do is just slide it in Dominator V3 is actually already have a built-in fan to work this you just need to push it in and press the button and then after you've done that you can power the goggles on As you can see, my own have turned on. Okay, once you've done this, you can find what you want to connect your goggles to. I've personally got my TBS Vendetta here. And to do this, you need to first turn on your model. And then... To find out what channel your um, to find the channel that your model is streaming its live video from, you just have to press channel up, down, 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 up, and all of them until you see the pitch, um, pitch start getting better and better, and then suddenly get crisp. If you can't find a video through all the channels, because you can click up a few times on channels and make that noise, and then you can go back down to bottom and find which channel. If you can't find your drone, then you can push on to the display and keep on pre uh, and try through all those modes. Once you've actually connected to your model, you can mess around with things like the exposure, the exposure and the brightness of your goggles. To do this, you can do got, um, brightness is to the left and to the right and exposure is up and down on the top left knobbly and also once you put the goggles on you can use these two tabs at the bottom to find your eyes and find what position your eyes like the screens in as you can see as I'm moving those around it moves the screens on the inside some people might be thinking, 
oh, this is all the basic stuff. Everyone should know this already. I When I first started out, I didn't know, and it took me a long time to find out. So I just thought I might do a video helping people that really just only just got into the hobby. Thank you for watching Sky Hair Movies.